all, today I'm going to be showing you how to tie the Kelvin knot today. And the reason why I'm doing four videos in one day is that I'm pretty bored right now, so I really have nothing to do but make necktie videos for you guys today. So today I'm bringing you the Kelvin knot. This is my fourth video today, I know, but whatever. Let's get on to the point. This is this is the Kelvin knot right here. Let's get a closer look at it. So I'm going to untie this right now and I'm going to show you how to tie this. So, so let's untie this and jump right in to the Kelvin knot. Alrighty, so the Kelvin knot is tied with our wide end and 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 the tip of my smaller end yeah of the skinny end is resting at about my belly button so we're going to do the first step of this knot by taking our wide end and going under the narrow end like this so from now on from from this point on I'm going to step forward and give you guys a closer look at this. So we're going to take our wide end and pass it in front. You can see. And we're going to pass it behind around the back. And one more time in front. So you can see that. And we're going to take it up the neck opening and we're going to loosen this front piece right here the frontmost piece and take the tip I don't know if you can see that the tip of our of our wide end and stick it through that the flat frontmost piece and tighten it up and plus it looks asymmetrical anyway so you can already tell it's an asymmetrical knot going to take taking our wide end or my I mean our skinny end we're going to cinch it up to our neck and pull our collar down so that is how you do the Kelvin knot everyone thank you so much for watching rate and subscribe for more videos Thank, and thank you, once again, thank you so much for watching.